I'm Jill Lindquist. I'm Chris Bruski. And we're with Raging Crow Distillery in North River, Nova Scotia. The explosion of the um, wine industry, the craft beer industry, um, craft distilling is also on that route. And I, there seemed to be room for, like I say, another craft distillery in Nova Scotia. We keep experimenting with new flavors. We've just introduced a blueberry liqueur and a ginger liqueur and uh, partnering with restaurants in the area for them to be able to use our, our um, spirits in their drink offerings. Um, we're hoping to grow that way and through, um, through events as well too. Um, spruce tip gin was one of our first uh, spruce tips that were picked um, on our property here in North River as well as our cottage in Earltown and uh, it's just a spruce tip gin is a little different gin um, that uh, hasn't been on the market so we're particularly proud of that one. When we were out west uh, we were introduced to dill pickle vodka it's huge and that's out, huge took out west. Off here, very nice. Yeah, Caesars are the number one selling cocktail in Canada, and they had developed this dill pickle vodka that goes perfectly in Caesars. So we bought a bottle and brought it back and tried to replicate it. Um, that's been a huge, a huge success for us, as well. Our coffee liqueur, um, it's lovely, and and it's just a natural. Uh, it's two types of cocoa powder, vanilla, and aroma Maya's cold brew coffee, and it, it's lovely. I love uh, potato vodka. I'm originally from Poland, like Jill said, and that's what we do in Poland. It's, uh, I think, in my opinion, potato vodka is the best vodka in the world. And we're the only ones ma making potato vodka in, in Nova, Nova Scotia. Scotia. Well, the potato vodka, it's very silky and smooth, so you don't need to refrigerate it either, even. So you can just take a straight shot and, and it, does, it, it doesn't burn you. It is more difficult it's to more make. It's more difficult to make, yes. It is. It involves potatoes and uh, also grain, uh, sprouted barley. So we, we do this traditional way. We, instead of enzymes, we add uh, sprouted barley into the mash. And the barley we get from, locally from Horton Ridge, uh, the malting house in the valley, and that's, that's, uh, he, he does a phenomenal job, actually. Um, the creativity aspect has been really enjoyable. Uh, just trying to come up with some different flavors, um, different taste profiles, and it's been some experimentation. We literally started um, probably a year before we, we actually began distilling, um, just experimenting with some flavors that we liked and uh, just trying to come up with something new and different that's out there in the market. We've just been very very happy with the support that we've received from the community. Um, it's been very encouraging and uh, we hope to certainly um, continue that. Continue, that's yeah. right.